What's up YouTube? Welcome back to MMO's World. We're bringing you another recap of all the major MMO news that happened throughout the week, so sit tight and soak it in. We're starting with The Division 2, which has gotten so much critical acclaim since its release last month. The Division 2 has released its Tidal Basin update this week, which is the first major launch content update featuring a Black Tusk Stronghold, a new Stronghold, the final one in fact, that you need to complete in order to, to get to World Tier 5 and increase your gear score as well. So players will face a new challenging encounter, the Tidal Basin, which is held by the Black Tusk, one of the endgame factions, the most powerful enemies in the game and the stronghold has a lot of them that you will have to fight. After completing the tile basin stronghold, players will be able to advance to world tier 5 and unlock the possibility to obtain gear scores of uh, between 450 to 500 and you will stay there for a while. But the update also introduces a new heroic difficulty and players can enjoy two new exotic weapons as well, the Pestilence and Nemesis, as well as three new gear sets, which is the True Patriot, Heart Ward, and Ongoing Directive. Uh, to celebrate this, there's of course a new PvP map and an apparel event where you can earn cash keys to get some cool new weapon skins and outfits and masks as well. Moving on now, some interesting news coming out from Star Wars The Old Republic as they've just announced that game update 5.10.3, the Dantooine Incursion, will be coming to the game and that will introduce a new in-game event set on the planet that we've never seen in Star Wars The Old Republic yet, the MMORPG, and that's the planet of Dantooine. This limited time event will join a rotation uh, with other recurring Star Wars The Old Republic events like the Ragul Resurgence and the Relics of the Gri. The story with this new event is that the Nova Blades have been hired um, by the Empire to, cr to cripple the Republic's efforts and we don't know what this event will entail yet. We just know that it's a new event on the Dantooine planet that we've not seen in Squirt Tour before so keep your eyes out for it to release sometime in April. Up next we've got news from World of Warships Legends and players can purchase Founders Packs that will be available for the Early Access Phase beginning April 16 and all the contents in the store. This will be exclusive to the optimized console version. World of Warships Legends Founders Packs will include everything that a ship captain needs to get their naval career off to a flying start, including first dibs on the Early Access launch for PlayStation 4 players. So these World of Warships Legends Founders Packs includes the Ultimate Edition, which includes four combat-ready premium premium ships, the deluxe edition has three epic premium warships, and the premium edition which has two powerful warships. For those that don't know what World of Warships Legends is, is it a separate game? Yes, it's a completely new entry in the World of Warships franchise that will take full advantage of the power and capabilities of home consoles, and it's separate to the PC version World of Warships. Elsewhere, we got some sad news for the game action RPG Breach. Breach is facing uncertain times ahead as its developer studio QC Games has shut down earlier this week. In a community post, the studio has thanked all the players for jumping into early access and supporting the game. How Ever, because the studio is closing, nobody knows what's going to happen to Breach. The servers will stay on for now and until they release any more information about what's going to happen to Breach. The future is really uncertain, so all microtransactions and store purchases have been turned off uh, this week so you cannot buy anything else in the breach store so a little unfortunate there if you're a breach player be sure to play as much as you want before i guess it's impending shutdown or another studio buys out the game and finally this week MMO shooter Steamcraft has confirmed that it will release on April 18. Steamcraft is a brand new MMO shooter game featuring vehicular combat and it's coming to players on April 18 where you will be pitted against other players in a unique setting. Battles take place on both land and air and to succeed you'll have a lot of crafting to do. Uh, you can select components for your vehicles and form an impressive arsenal. If you're interested, head on over to the Steam store page, just type in Steamcraft. And that wraps up our MMO news recap for the week. For more MMO news as it happens, head on over to our website at MMOsworld.com. As ever, I'm waiting from MMOsworld, signing out.